In this video, we will discuss a very important character in Hindustani music, the Tanpura. We will look at the instrument and its role as a drone and its role as the basic reference for the tonic. So, drone, tonic, etc. are some of the terms that we will take a look at in this video. A Hindustani concert or a Carnatic one for that matter typically has a drone playing throughout. Now, what is a drone? Drone is a pitch or group of pitches that is sounded continuously throughout a musical piece. And by extension, an instrument providing this can also be called a drone. And so, the Tanpura, which is constantly heard in Hindustani music concert, provides the drone and by extension is itself called a drone. Now, the drone is used in many kinds of music throughout the world, both traditional and contemporary experimental. Below are some links to music videos in which the drone is employed in different ways. Um, please do listen to them. The drone provides a meditative atmosphere and is frequently used in religious or spiritual music such as in the first link that uh, is given below, the music of a particular community of Sufi musicians. Contemporary and uh, experimental musicians such as in the other two videos use the drone for an edgy kind of effect. Now the drone that we hear in Hindustani music has neither of these functions. The Tanpura sound may have a meditative quality to it. A well-tuned Tanpura does have that quality, but its function is not to pull you into any kind of trance. A state of absorption, yes, but not trance. The music that is performed against the background of the Tanpura and which the Tanpura enables is a matter for the senses and the intellect too. The Tanpura plays a central role in the music making itself and in listening to it, in making sense of the music. And why or how? It is because it provides the tonic. That is the primary function of the Tanpura, that is to provide the tonic. Now what is tonic? Again, tonic is a feature of many kinds of music, uh, except perhaps atonal music and other experimental music. But traditionally, tonic is a feature of uh, all kinds of music. And one way to understand the tonic is as the note on which the music is resolved. That is, when the music arrives at the tonic, you feel that you have come home or it has come to a rest. The tonic has been described as the principal goal tone. That is the goal of the music is to attain it. And in when, when it does uh, attain the tonic, there is a sense of coming to rest of resolution. So, for instance, pa, pa, ma, ga, ri, Magari pa magari sa. When you come to sa, there is a sense of resolution. Da magari ri ga ma da magari magari ga ri da da ri sa. The tonic in Hindustani music is the sa or the shatcha. So, there is a very fundamental difference between the drone and the tonic. The drone is a pitch or a group of pitches that is actually heard constantly during the performance and it need not be the tonic. But attaining the tonic 
is a psychological resolution and can and does happen even without the external drone such as in western music whether classical or, or pop and the drone need not be the tonic in other kinds of music it typically is not the tonic but in hindustani music it is always the tonic so as i mentioned earlier tonic and resolution on the tonic is a feature of other kinds of music too in western music for example the tonic is important in music making but it changes within a piece in the case of our music in hindustani music the tonic remains constant throughout the entire performance it does not change at all there is no modulation and the tonic in hindustani music is always the sa the shatja and though the sa which is the tonic is not necessarily the only tone on which music is resolved it is possible to end a piece a raga performance on another note though it's very rarely done the tonic in fact is the beginning of all music for us because it is only when the tonic is fixed that the rest of the notes are fixed and so the sa which is the tonic is called the aadhara swara aadhara means the foundational swara in what exactly is this pitch that is determined by the performer it might be g or g sharp or d or e or even any pitch in between in principle any pitch at all can be a tonic if the performer so determines the tonic depends on nothing other than the performer's comfort the music itself does not dictate that one should choose one or the other pitch as the tonic and the tonic does not change during the course of an entire performance so why is the tonic or the sa called aadhara swara and what is its significance it's extremely critical the sa is the aadhara in the sense of the base or the support or the foundation upon which all music is built or created and this is true in a few senses first of all all other swaras are defined and their positions are established with reference to the aadhara sa that is once you fix your aadhara sa once you fix the sa then the rest of the saptak the other swaras get fixed and very importantly in another sense also sa is aadhara because raga performance only makes sense when the aadhara shadja is recognized or perceived or heard and is identified as the aadhara swara as the sa there is a gestalt of a set of melodic movements of any raga falls in place and becomes meaningful as that particular raga's movements only when the tonic is perceived and held in the mind as the reference point so it integrates the various melodic movements of a performance and confers the raga hood on that music i'll demonstrate ah <laughs> lalit with the sa as sa this is a sa a ni re ga ma ga ma ma
देन इज अलिप विथ टू मध्यम कोमल ऋषभ नो पंचम बट इफ इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस इज सा एंड इफ यू आइडेंटिफाई दिस एज सा यू कैन हियर ललित बट सपोज यू आइडेंटिफाई सपोज यू आइडेंटिफाई दिस एज योर सा the same music the same phrases that i sang would be this madhani sa re sa re sa ni re ni dha pa and you won't be able to perceive you won't be able to hear lalit so in that sense the sa and the perception of the sa is uh, absolutely foundational in whether to make music or to make sense of the music itself now even though the actual performance of a raga may not commence with the rendition of the sa that is the sa usually is not sung right at the outset but rather uh, a nearby swara like the lower ni or the ga or the ri are sung and then the performer arrives at the sa but there is some element of drama there a building up of tension and releasing it into the sa but the sa or the tonic provided by the tantra is very much on the minds of the performers and the listeners right from the beginning and throughout the performance it is a powerful presence it is what drives the music it is what nourishes it and gives it meaning historically the tanpura probably became part of music performances around the 15th or 16th century there is evidence of its use in paintings of early 17th century and with the presence of the drone the tanpura music making and listening was fundamentally changed because without the drone without the tanpura we only have the memory of the previous tone to produce the next or to experience the next one and to give it meaning but when we have the drone we have a constant external reference that will then impact intonation too in fact a uh, practicing hindustani musician refers constantly to the tanpura the aadhara shadha while intoning the various notes however complex or rapid the passages and the phrases may be not only the tanpura other instruments also provide the drone um, in hindustani concerts the harmonium or the sarangi which are uh melodic accompaniment in khayal they also provide it though not continuously like the tanpura and uh, in performances of louder instruments like the shahnai the tanpura's soft sound will be drowned and so uh, they usually have a shahnai player playing the tonic throughout the the shahnai that shahnai is dedicated as a drone shahnai by default the drone in hindustani concerts is provided by the tanpura let us look at what the tanpura is this is the tanpura being tuned by bhuvanesh komkali in construction it has the tumba at the base of the tanpura which is made out of a hollowed out and dried gourd and this is also the part which serves as the resonator you can see it on his right side at the end of the tanpura after that we have the a bridge which is also called the ghoraj or ghodi which is a very important part of the tanpura over which the strings pass along the 
dand now the dand is a long wooden cylindrical piece mounted on the tumba the kuntis or the pegs to tighten or loosen the strings are at the uh, extreme end and on the other end we have the manika or the small beads for fine tuning of the strings now let's look at the tuning of the instrument it is a highly demanding task which even seasoned musicians take considerable time to get right the tankara typically has four strings it might also have five or six but four is typical the first string is tuned to pa or pancham or shuddha madhyam depending on the raga it is by default it is pa or pancham but if a raga uh, without the pancham is being performed then it is customary to tune it to the shuddha madhyam now if the raga does not have shuddha madhyam also it is neither pa nor shuddha ma then it is tuned to the shuddha nishan so that's the first string the middle strings are called jodi they are a pair and these are tuned to the upper sa the higher shaj tara shaj and the last string is tuned to the lower shaj or it's called the kharaj string so already we see that the tanpura provides not just the tonic or the sa but at least one other swara the pa or the ma or the ni but it does more the seasoned and sensitive musician can hear the entire saptak when it is properly tuned and this is achieved by the second stage of tuning of the tanpura the first stage simply consists of tuning the strings to the sa and pa the next stage is more critical which is placing the zawari threads under the strings of the tanpura as they pass over the bridge the zawari threads are fine threads placed between the strings and the bridge and to tune the tanpura we need to slide the zawari thread under the string until we arrive at a point at which the sound comes alive with a rich tonality and this is because of the curved bridge of the tanpura the zawari bridge in fact making the zawari bridge is, a, is an intricate craft and makes the tanpura unique and much more than a mere drone let us listen to bhuvanesh konkali placing the zawari strings now what is actually happening is that at a critical point when the thread is placed under the strings on the bridge a range of harmonics are emitted by the string when it is plucked harmonics are secondary pitches produced from any vibrating string that is any string when strummed or when plucked will produce the pitch to which it is tuned primarily but it also produces other pitches uh, physics the physics of sound lays down the math of what pitches are emitted as harmonics in fact c v raman nobel laureate c v raman has written a paper on the harmonics produced by the tanpura which according to him defy standard laws of sound and again according to him this is because of the curved bridge of the tanpura harmonics have a lovely term in the tradition swayambhu swaras because they arise on their own that is when a string um, tuned to say pa is strummed the ri is a harmonic and it is heard though no string 
tuned to re has been strummed and so the re is a swayambhu that is it has come into being on its own so also the ga or the gandhara has heard from the last or the kharaj string when it is tuned properly to the lower sa season musicians can hear many other swaras and even the entire saptak and when all four strings are tuned well and with the jawari is placed well they create a rich tonal soundscape with many harmonics emerging from the interplay of the vibrating strings tuning a tanpura is an intricate art and needs time and care inevitably we have electronic versions of the tanpura as well and tanpura apps that offer us a wide range of choices all just a few touches of the screen away indeed i have used a tanpura app in many demonstrations in this course you have youtube videos with tanpura but it is not the same it does not have the live uh, vitality of the what is called acoustic tanpura one doesn't develop a relationship with an app like one does with one's tanpura a relationship that makes possible great music let us listen to bhuvanesh komkali on the importance of practicing and performing with the acoustic tanpura तानपुरा भारतीय शास्त्रीय संगीत का बड़ा महत्वपूर्ण अंग है एक अविभाज्य वस्तु है तानपुरे के बिना भारतीय शास्त्रीय संगीत का विचार नहीं किया जा सकता तानपुरे के बिना भारतीय शास्त्रीय संगीत में विचार लगभग असंभव है क्यों क्योंकि तानपुरा इन चार तारों से मिलकर कुछ ऐसे स्वयंभू स्वरों का वलय निर्माण करता है जो हमें पूरे सप्तक का काम करने का मौका देता है पूरे सप्तक का आभास देता है जैसे गंधार की उपस्थिति खरज में है उसी तरह पंचम में ऋषभ की उपस्थिति है लेकिन यही पंचम और गंधार जैसे एक तानपुरे में से हम सुन सकते हैं और दो तानपुरे के साथ में होने से जो एक वलय पूरा निर्माण होता है हमको स्वात सातों स्वरों का आभास हो सकता है होता है पंडित कुमार गंधर्व जो मेरे दादाजी थे तानपुरे के सातों स्वरों का उन्हें साक्षात्कार हुआ था तानपुरे उनके लिए देवतुल्य थे तानपुरे बहुत सेंसिटिव वाद्य हैं थोड़ी सी भी टेम्परेचर के डिफरेंस इसमें बहुत बड़ा फर्क ले आती है जब तक तानपुरे के साथ में स्वर की साधना न की जाए तब तक स्वर की साधना को पूरा नहीं माना जा सकता क्योंकि इसमें से निकलने वाले जो रेजोनेंस है जो साउंड है उसके साथ में स्वर अपने गले का हमको मिलाते आना चाहिए यह सर्वाधिक महत्वपूर्ण है और ये एक ऐसा वाद्य है कि जिसके साथ स्वर मिलाने से हमें हमारे आवाज़ के बहुत सारे गुण और दोष पता पड़ते हैं यदि हम चाहते हैं कि हमारी आवाज़ के गुण दोष पूरी तरह अच्छे हों तो तानपुरे के साथ ही रियाज करना आवश्यक है भारतीय शास्त्रीय संगीत की जो परफॉर्मेंस का पार्ट है उसके अंदर इस तानपुरे का रहना बहुत आवश्यक है क्योंकि जैसे मैं आपको पहले कह रहा था जिस तरह से स्वरों का वलय इस तानपुरे के साथ में निर्माण होता है वो किसी भी गाने वाले को किसी भी वादक को अपने स्वरों को लगाते समय चाहे वो जो स्वर लगाना चाह रहा हो पंचम हो मध्यम हो धैवत निषाद जो भी हो वो लगाने के पहले उसको कहाँ आना है उसका पूरा एक प्लेटफॉर्म तैयार करता है फॉर एग्जांपल ये एक ये एक कैनवास है जिसके ऊपर गाने वाला या वादक अपना एक चित्र निर्माण करता है अपने स्वरों की आकृतियाँ खड़ी करता है तो ये एक चित्र बनाने का बड़ा सा एक कैनवास खड़ा करता है जिसके साथ में गाने वाला या वादक 
अपने राग की अलग अलग जो उसकी फ्रेजेस हैं अलग अलग जो उसकी लाइंस हैं उससे पूरा एक बड़ा चित्र खड़ा करता है रिच टोनल स्प्लेंडर ट्रैक्स द म्यूजिशियन एंड द ऑडियंस इन टू दर्ल्ड ऑफ द रागा बींग परफॉर्म द आर्ट ऑफ ट्यूनिंग नितानपुरा एंड द आर्ट ऑफ हियरिंग इट एंड बींग एबल टू डिसर्न दर टोन आर इंटर कनेक्टेड एंड दे ग्रो टूगेदर म्यूजिशियंस देन लेट देर म्यूजिक बी ड्रिवेन बाय द तानपुरा एंड इट्स टोनल रिचनेस विथ द एडवेंट ऑफ electronic tanpuras and applications this art is certainly under threat i will end this video with this lovely bit from an interview with uh veteran drupad exponent ustad saeeduddin dagar as he refers to the tanpura as the king of overtones and as his god गरे gare sa okay this is no in marwa there is no pa but you have to feel the tanpura tanpura is king of overtoning the shrutis and king because we call him is god for us if you feel this note he will respond for that note if you feel this note he will respond that raga <laughs> 